Hi there, this is Marlon from Fragrantica.com, and today I'm going to answer three questions for you. The first question is, how old is my perfume or cologne? The second question is, what are the numbers that are on the bottom or back of my bottle or fragrance packaging? And the third question is, how can I store my fragrance so that it lasts longer? All right, so this is all addressed in today's article titled, How Old Is My Perfume or Cologne from June 3rd at Fragrantica.com. Please come and join us, read the article, let us know your comments and additional questions at Fragrantica.com. So the first question, how old is my perfume or cologne? And the second question, what are the numbers on the bottom or back of my bottle or fragrance packaging? So here, I'm going to show you an example of Calvin Klein's Truth For Men. And you'll see right here on the bottom of the bottle is a four-digit number. Um, depending upon the manufacturer, the numbers might be three, four, or five digits. And those numbers correspond to the date of original production for that product. So the next step then is to take that information and plug it into a website that can tell you when your fragrance was actually created. So two sites that I like to use are checkfresh.com, C-H-E-C-K-F-R-E-S-H, checkfresh.com, and also checkcosmetic.net, C-H-E-C-K-C-O-S-M-E-T-I-C.net, checkcosmetic.net. For example, at checkfresh.com, you simply find your cosmetic brand. Unfortunately, not all brands are listed there, but many popular brands are and then just simply type in your batch code. So for example, for my Calvin Klein Truth, I've got 5257, um, and I type that in, and it tells me that my Calvin Klein Truth was created in 2016. So I've got a fragrance that's about a year and a half old. Um, unfortunately, checkfresh.com uh, only offers information from say the last five to 10 years um, I'm not sure how far back Czech Cosmetics goes, but a great blog that I recommend based upon a reader comment uh, to give you more information about some of your favorite vintage brands is raidersofthelostscent.blogspot.com. It's like Raiders of the Lost Ark, the movie. Raidersofthelostscent.blogspot.com. All right, so now that we know how to find out how old our perfume or cologne is, and what those numbers mean. How can you store your fragrance to help it last longer? First, I just wanna talk a little bit about how long does a fragrance last? So typically, I would say five to seven years. Some fragrances don't last quite as long. Some will last much longer. The top notes of a fragrance are usually the first to go because they evaporate the fastest. So you might notice that an older fragrance doesn't quite have the opening notes that they once did or sometimes the fragrance material itself begins to break down and you get that funny like rusty smell or some, some people say it smells like hay. Um, so really, if your fragrance doesn't smell great, first start by pressing your atomizer a few times. There's that tubing in your bottle, right? Sometimes fragrance is, is uh, stored in that tubing if it hasn't been used in a while and it can kind of turn stale. So start by pressing maybe 10 to 15 times, clear out that atomizer, and see if that helps. If not, then it's time to move on and replace that bottle. How do I know if my fragrance is too old to wear? Easy, it doesn't smell good to you anymore. Uh, again, I've had some fragrances that have lasted me 20, 25 years, they still smell great. Others have gone two or three years and I couldn't wear them any longer. So how can you store a fragrance to help it last longer? Heat, light, and air are the three main enemies of fragrance. So if it's possible, always try to buy a fragrance that you can spray, that you don't have to open. Every time you open a fragrance in a splash bottle and expose it to air, that promotes the breaking down of the fragrance oils. If you do have a splash oil, we recommend that you decant it into an atomizer so that you can spray it and you don't have to open the bottle as often. Some of our readers in the comments on this article have also suggested, and this is really interesting, plumber's tape, putting um, Teflon tape around the stopper of a bottle for a splash bottle, for example, or if it's a screw top, putting it around the side of the, of the glass that you screw on the top. Um, this other reader suggests parafilm. 
uh, to wrap your, your vintage bottle so that no air can penetrate, um, which again promotes the breaking down of those oils. Light and heat. Don't keep your fragrances on a dresser that is under a window. Um, anytime light will hit your fragrances, light is what helps, again, to promote the breakdown of the fragrance oils. So keep your fragrances in a cool, dry, dark place. Bathrooms, unfortunately, even though it's fun to display our fragrances there, with all the steam and heat in the bathroom, that's not a great idea either. Keep your fragrances away from direct sources of heat, such as heat vents or wall heaters as well. Some people joke about putting fragrances in the refrigerator, but actually you can put your fragrance in the refrigerator. It can help to keep your fragrance fresh longer. And let's face it, during hot weather, it's nice to spray on something cooling. Okay, so uh, one more thing. Don't keep your fragrances in a hot automobile. All of that heat will definitely influence the breaking down of your fragrances. All right, now it's your turn. Join us at Fragrantica.com and tell us your own tips and tricks about how do you help make your fragrances last longer. My name is Marlon, and today I talked about how old is my perfumer cologne by discussing the batch code numbers on the bottoms and the backs of bottles and fragrance packaging and using sites like CheckFresh.com and CheckCosmetics.net. I also recommend that you don't keep fragrances in bright, sunny, warm places. Keep them in cool, dry, dark places like closets, for example, are great. The refrigerator is just fine. And if you do have a splash bottle, I recommend that you decant it into something that you can spray so that you don't have to open it as often. Thanks so much for watching, and remember to check us out at Fragrantica.com.